Hi, Pisces. It's, um, this reading could resonate with anybody who has Pisces strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and look into this, um, into this next week to come. See what the main energies that are here. World flipped over. The world flipped. That sounds drastic. It's just the world card. All right, Queen of Pentacles. Starting off with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. The wheel. Wow. Okay. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Page of Pentacles flipping over. Four of Cups. Oh gosh. Pisces, what's happening? What's happening? The Fool energy. Eight of Pentacles. Devil energy flipped over. Nine of Wands. Seven of Swords flipping over. Hanged Man. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, uh, the Queen of Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. The next row, we have the Four of Cups, the Fool, and the Eight of Pentacles. In the bottom row, we have the Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man. Now, there are several uh, zodiac signs in R in the frequency of the Nine of Wands. So there's a whole bunch of people out there who have been through a whole heck of a lot and are in a process of recovery. Uh, and so there's a lot of people out there that are tired, they're wounded, struggling to recover, overcoming great odds. And Pisces, you do fit into that category or this, this group of Pisces that I'm, con that I'm connecting in with. We see you in that, in that space as you move into this week. Um, there's something here that makes a lot of sense for you. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's something that you can do. It's something that you have the knowledge about. It's something that requires of you uh, the strength of discipline, the strength of organization, of management, of 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 self-care and, and awareness of, of health and vitality. Um, this is, this is all about the management of operations, management of daily operations, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of focus. Now, here's the thing. There's something happening here that I think it just feels like, why this? Like, why this? And, and there's something about it that really you're, you're concerned about. Now, I don't know if there, it just feels like you have some concerns and you're not quite sure how to move forward. And maybe at, at this point in time, like you've really had it with this kind of topic or this category or this situation, like you've been through it a while. And, and there's something here that just, that makes you a little bit uneasy, but it's happening. Like it's happening. The situation is almost like you, you're, you're, it's really hard. It's, it's going to be really hard to say no to this because it brings some sort of future opportunity towards you. It brings some sort of future opportunity towards you. It helps you get closer to success. Is it something that you're nervous about? I think so. 
I'm, maybe you're not even sure how to do it or what to do. I It could be love, but I think for Pisces in this month, this group, again, it could be love. I think for many of you, it's something you have to do within a job or within the home or just something that you have to do that's that's that you're going to have to do and it's not like it, it is it, it does have a lot of potential it's big it's strong it's big it, it looks and as you're looking forward it, there there are it's like the there are paths here that are available but they're quite unknown to you. Like they're very unknown to you. In fact, you might be on a path that's quite unknown in general, just to the general population. It might be something that is just not very known. That's, it's a weird, it's a weird energy that I'm getting here. Weird feeling. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is connected to the Four of Cups and the Fool. For one thing, Pisces, it might be really just hard at this point in time to start this. I mean, you could be at a place of, of being tired. Uh, maybe you're bored of this. Maybe you've tried this before and it it didn't work out very good. Maybe you tried yesterday or you tried last month and it didn't work. Right? So there's some hesitancy and, and a little bit of procrastination or distraction or some sort of delay. Uh, don't be too tough on yourself, Pisces, because you've been through, um, you're one of these people who have made it through, um, and it's taken quite a bit out of you to do that. Um, the good news is you do have this quality of the Queen of Pentacles where you really are in a, in a place where you can handle and manage these changes in this situation that's here. And I think in the rational mind, in the practical mind, this does hold a lot of potential for you. So your, your rational mind is seeing the potential and able to accomplish the work that it takes, but your, but your, your emotional being, the inner being, the, could even be the, the inner child is in many ways like resisting this. And I think it's just a feeling. I really do think it's just a feeling. It's just some sort of resistance that's there to be moved through. Um, because there's something here that is coming in that you've connected to or that you will be connecting to that is a is a good change it's a nice change and it will bring in um some some new pathways and it will help you to move forward um into better opportunities and i i think that's why the queen of pentacles is here that's the beauty of the queen of pentacles because she's really able to persevere through especially if you, if she sees a reason for it there needs to be a reason. There needs to be a goal because that's what the Queen of Pentacles can focus on. If there isn't a goal or if it's ridiculous or if it's not making sense, the Queen of Pentacles has a pretty hard time uh, focusing so on something that, that really isn't going to be rewarding. She has the same attributes as the King of Pentacles in that way. Like if it's not going to bring the desired results, what's the point in doing it? But here there's something that... Uh, is man it's tantalizing it's very tantalizing um and i think in the middle of the week there is something here that you are recognizing that is in front of you that is important for you i think you're recognizing the amount of risk that there is to it uh you're understanding that you are in many ways like um there, there is a loneliness to this, I have to say. It's not a bad loneliness. It is just like a standalone type of feeling. And I had this in another reading this week. And you know me, I am a basket case when it comes to remembering these readings. But I know that I felt this energy in some other sign. So uh, this is coming out for some people in in multiple signs. Uh, it's, it's, it's coming. It, it, anyway, I don't want to. Okay, let me recenter myself here. It's a, I have to say it's a little distracting when I feel the same energy in, in, it's a little distracting. It feels to me, Pisces, that this is like a situation that's been happening for a little while. I know we're looking at a week here, but we could be connecting into a group of Pisces that I haven't connected into for a while. It just feels like this is bigger than a week.
Now, I, there is something new here, but I think, Pisces, that you're you're very able to just wait. There's not a rush to move forward. There's not this urgency, this desperation, this excitability factor. There's something that's calm and cool and collected about this situation. I think you're fully recognizing, though, that there is a new journey here. Is it a journey to take? Are you ready to step into this spotlight? Are you ready to step onto the path? Because I think the universe is setting it up for you, or you have done the work to set it up for you. You're in the Nine of Wands with the Four of Cups. It's going to create a little bit of a slowdown. And I think that is probably something that's supposed to happen because there is some further realizations that are coming through. Uh, I think they're coming through in the future. I don't even think that these realizations and this information and these decisions are going to be made this week. I do not think that they are. And in fact, I think that if you, if you're resonating with this, there is time. There, there is time. There are days ahead to connect to this new awareness. And I think you absolutely understand that. You are understanding that the, that, um, your situation is moving into a new playing field is coming forward, a new playing field. There's a new ball game here for you. I think you have some concerns about it, and I think that's why you're not moving forward so quickly. There's con some concerns here. And I think that you are spending some time this week to kind of really dig into the truth of this. How is this in going to impact my life? How will it impact my family's life? How will, will it impact my community how could it impact my work right it's it's like looking at the potential consequences of moving forward and i think there's multiple ways to do this there's multiple ways it's like whatever this is that's here this wheel of fortune it comes with something bigger and you you might even not even know the biggerness of it because you're still at the very beginning and there's still some some awareness to be found. These things just don't happen so quickly. It takes time. And, and I think you're perfectly fine with that. I think you're okay with that. Now, towards the end of the week, Pisces, you are deep in thought. I really do think you're deep in thought. And I, and we have this deep in thought strategy, um, perspective building, um, you're in a perspective building energy. This is your complete energy here, right? The cards around here are the surroundings and, and different elements of the, of the energy that I, I'm talking about. But these two cards at the bottom is what you're embodying. And you're in this perspective building, this truth finding type of energy. And it's connected to the Eight of Pentacles. So what I really feel, Pisces, is that you are believing and understanding that this perspective, this perspective building and focusing on the options is really and truly where um, you need to be at this point. This itself is the focus. It is the work. It is part of the process. It's creating and designing. And, and digging in and, and in the, it's like the beginning of the manifestation stage. But it's very strange because there's something here that's already ready. You could have this product or you could have a service that you'd like to provide. You could have a relationship that um, you're sort of in a weird way, like circling around. Thank goodness there's not a hurry. I think for most of you, there, there is a release of any kind of urgency here. I think the universe is giving you time to absorb this situation um, and to really take some time and figure out how best should I do this? What are the consequences? What are the benefits? What are the challenges going to be? And that is the work. It's like you're accepting that it's not only the actions that we take that's called work. It's also the brilliance of the mind that's work. And we know the brain takes up uh, a majority of our of our uh, energy, right? So this is the work of the brain to envision, 
to 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 step forward into the into the um, action of foresight, right? The envisioning, allowing the brain to really look at alternatives, to look at how, how other people would feel. How will other people feel when I do this? What will their perspectives be? Um, how could this be helpful for others? How could it be hurtful for others? It just is. And what is a tr- what is attractive about this? This is like a marketing perspective. This is a marketing perspective and a strategy consultation with either a professional or with yourself. Because I do feel like it's in the future, uh, you will be faced with making some decisions about how to kind of move forward. I think you realize that and you have the eight of pentacles here. So um, even though you have this hesitation and maybe even a little bit of disappointment or boredom or something, I think you're realizing the potential here because we have the eight of pentacles. Two more pentacles and we reach the 10, which is, you know, the ultimate life. You know, the ultimate life is different for everyone. As we get older, we realize ultimate life is probably much simpler than we ever thought, right? So it's the, you know, it's going to be a little different for everyone, but th- this is something that you're really dedicated to. And you're able at this point in time to relax and to look at, and to, and to, and to find a, um, to create a whole, uh, I want to say holistic, but I guess it is holistic, but it's almost like under, understanding the other side. And I think in many ways, like this is something you're very willing to do. And almost in a way, uh, it, it's it's a relief because I think once you start moving forward with this, it's, you know, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. But it also has so much reward connected to it. You're so willing to dedicate yourself um, to this. And as you move out of the week of the 15th, closer to the 15th or 16th or 17th or wherever we are in the timing here, uh, I think that you're just taking one day at a time, looking at the details of this, uh, spending time envisioning it, not getting too wrapped up in the stress of it or in the pressures of it, but just allowing yourself to uh, enjoy the consideration process. Yeah, there's twos here, but the hanged man is ruling over it. The hanged man is ruling over it. So I think that these decisions, and um, whether they're small or large, are um, in the future. Not this week, but in the future. Uh, but I think you're fully aware and recognizing that at some time, just like, you know, when we're pregnant, <laughs> at some time, it's going to happen. Right. And so I think you're kind of preparing for that. I think that you have control of the go button, too. I really think you do. How interesting. What am I going to clarify? What do I want to clarify? Oh, boy. In the extended, I'll go deeper into these, but I just want to find the most helpful. The one that I think would be the most helpful to dig down into. Let's look at the hanged man. And let's pull out some of my immature and childish and silly sticker cards for the fool just to kind of liven this up because ultimately I think this is good news. And ultimately I think it's exciting. Um, it's just, you're in this building process now where, you know, there's still some worries here. So let's go into the hanged man and then we'll pull some of those sticker cards for the, for the full energy, just for the fun of it. Hanged man. Tell us more about this hanged man. Hermit flipped over. Yeah, it's, that's what it is. Page of Swords. Learning. Learning and considering 
and looking at the information, looking at the data, um, and, and allowing the feeling of vulnerability, letting yourself be suspicious, letting yourself feel the pain, just letting yourself get into this feeling of the Page of Swords, which is ultimately kind of what it is. It's like a student of life where before you might have been a master at something. Now you're moving down into the student position and the student position is here because there's something worth learning, worth uh, accepting as a challenge. But it is a feeling of insecurity, a feeling of vulnerability, um, the uncomfortableness of learning, the uncomfortableness of being the one that is not the best, not in control, all of that. Is there something else? Is there something else? Let's see if there's something else here. And three of wands, anticipation is there. Didn't come out on the table. Maybe not. Maybe that's it. The deck feels really light, so maybe that's it. Yeah, I think that's it that's coming. All right, let's look at these sticker cards and see. I'm not going to read these cards very much. I'm just going to shuffle them and let them come out. And I think that um, the confirmations they can bring to you are just, uh, they're, they're just unknown to me. Um, some of these are just fairly random. And I'm doing this because I'm not an artist. If I would try to draw these things, let me tell you, it would be the worst. It would be the worst. It would be so embarrassing. And no one would ever would be able to tell what they were. All right, let's go into the fool. What help us understand this new beginning or this new something new here that's something big and new with the wheel of fortune, something promising. The fool. Let's understand what this is. Let's get three three of these to come out. Just realizing you guys are all in, you know, your own experiences are all different. Whew. into this these cards are they feel different than tarot it's, it's a little bit different energy i have to kind of channel it differently are these upside down oh they're i have them in reverse it doesn't matter these aren't tarot okay. let's do one more All right, I'm just going to let spirit take control of this. The first one is heart and soul. Heart and soul. Heart and soul. Dreams don't work unless you do. You got this. And you are beautiful, my friend. You are beautiful. Okay, I'm going to move to the extended now. In the extended, I'm going to move, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to go into this Two of Wands energy. And I think I'm going to look at the Eight of Pentacles. So the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. And then we're going to move this energy story forward. All right, my friends, thank you all very much for being here. Um, Pisces, I wish you the very best in the week to come and in the month to come. And stay well um, and, and stay strong, my friends. Thank you.